Hello, Slicey Dicers. We are live. How's everybody doing this evening? Welcome to Brews and Blades for this June 14th of 2020. Not a whole lot planned for tonight. Uh, a couple little things. I'm going to say right off the bat. Um, nope, got to mute my computer. I'm sorry about that. I could hear myself talking. I'm tired of hearing myself talk lately. Um, there is going to be a knife sale on the Patreon. They get at least 24 hours early notice. Uh, I probably won't actually do the sale of what's left until like Wednesday, but, or sorry, Tuesday, days of the week, mean nothing to me now. But tonight, as soon as this show is over with, I'm going to be posting quite a significant amount of knives for sale on the Patreon to give them their 24 hour early notice. So if you want to join the Patreon during this, I'm going to remind you a few times during the show, uh, scroll down into the description there's a link to the Patreon. Any level, even just the two bucks a month, you get 24-hour early access to my stuff for sale. There's some pretty cool stuff that's going to be pretty surprising, um, uh, especially a brand new knife that is sold out that I wound up with doubles of, and that's all I'm going to say. So uh, you might want to go down there and check that out as soon as this is over with. Uh, when I have time to sit and pay attention to my email, I will, uh, I will put that up on Patreon. So join the Patreon. You get 24-hour early access to sales. Hello, everybody. Jock's Knife, Therapeutic Edge, Lethal Blades, Petty Ripple, Chris P. Also, I pinned a comment down here. I forgot to put it in the uh, in the description. I'm going to edit it as soon as this is over with. But uh, there is a pinned comment with a link to, uh, I hope he comes on here, uh, Oaken. Now I know that's how you say it. Because now he has a YouTube channel with him and his cousin Kane. And it is very good. He's brand new. I think he only has like six like six subs or something like that when I just looked but already has three or four videos up, go down in the comments, go click on his channel and subscribe to it. Oaken is always on here. Great guy, Oaken7. Oaken I used to say Oaken7. Now it's Oaken7. He's loaned me some stuff. He's bought some stuff from me. Great dude. And it's a really entertaining channel. So go down in the, the pinned comment down below. Make sure you can see it. Yeah, there's a link to their EDC with Oaken and Kane. Uh, go subscribe to that. Let's blow his channel up tonight. That'll be fun. Uh, I like doing that for people sometimes. And he's a great guy. And the channel's really funny. They record all their videos with a little, like, dollhouse furniture thing. So it looks like it's, a, it's like this format, but it looks like a living room set. And it's awesome. I really wish I would have thought of that gimmick. It is such a great gimmick. I'm very jealous that I didn't think of that. It's so funny. Hey, Keith, how's it going? Thanks for coming out and giving me a hand, as always. Uh, tonight's beer is Brooklyn Summer Ale. It's summer. I love this stuff. This is like my go-to summertime beer. Although today the high was only 65. So, uh, yeah, not bad at all. I went out and had to go run to uh, um, Walgreens, and it was actually a bit chilly out. A bit chilly out. It made my voice high. Hey, Ross. Hey, Kevin. Anthony. Good to see you. Jeremy Bottoms on here. Always good to see you. You're a very loyal viewer. And I did tease on, if you guys watch the community page, um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys something. I'm going to make you wait till the end of the video. We'll wait till uh, like 8.55, like the last five minutes of the video. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, I have something that, all I'm going to say, it's a knife that's been shown by the manufacturer, but it is not available yet. Um, I talked to the manufacturer, they sent me one, and I got exclusive permission to show it to you guys briefly. I'm not going to give you a full like impressions and all that stuff. I'm just going to show it to you real briefly. Um, and then I will actually do the full review on the release date. So they sent this to me early so I'd have time to do it to actually have it in my pocket and do a full review on the release date. So um, yeah, so you're going to, I'm not going to say anything about what it is. You will find out at the end. That's the only hint I'm giving you. It's been shown, but not released yet. So, all right. Hey, Needs Knives, how's it going? Good to see you. I just rewatched your uh, part of your live stream this morning, actually, like right when I got up. It was on my suggested things. Um, what I'm carrying today is this uh, the secret knife that I'm going to show you at the end. I've, it's been in my pocket every day since I got it. So, um, well, almost every day. Uh, it's been split in time with some other stuff I got at the same time. But if I told you what I got at the same time, it would kind of give it, give it away. Uh, we're going to keep the knife swapping pretty hot and heavy here. Let's just do some chats about some things. Uh, kind of back to normal. Not much of a theme today, except 
Subscribe to the Patreon if you're not, because pretty epic sale coming up as soon as it's over. Hey, there's Oaken right there, Oaken7. I just pimped your channel. I have it in a pinned comment down below. It's a lot of fun. Go check that out. Actually, Oaken, if you want to put it in the comments too, it'll it'll flag it, but I should be allowed to approve it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Why, is, why am I doing this thing with my voice tonight? I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's because it was cold out today. But if not, there's a pinned comment to his new channel, EDC with Oaken and Kane, and I, I really enjoy it. I, I do genuinely enjoy it. It's uh, pretty cool. Uh, what's the carbon fiber one? This is the uh, Benchmade Super Freak. I cannot remember the number on it. So, or not Benchmade Super Freak, the Benchmade Mini Freak, ugh, um, with carbon and S90V. It is the, I think I have the box within reach. Yes, there we go. It is, yeah, the 565 1 Mini Freak. Really do like it. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. It is a great little channel you got going there, so. Okay, Oak, Oak, I got eight subs now. Let's get him, let's get him, what's a good goal? Let's get him to like, I don't know, 50 tonight. That'd be fun. Um, and I'll find some other way to uh, to pimp you too, because I, oh God, that, that stupid little living room set you have, it's, oh, I, I'm so jealous of that. I so wish I'd have thought of that. That is so funny and unique, and you can do so many things with it. You can keep buying little furniture and changing it. Uh, thank you, Lethal Blades. Appreciate it. I got a Harkins after seeing yours and love it, how you're liking yours. I love it. It's it's fantastic. And even though it's kind of pricey and pretty rare, I, I still find myself carrying it a lot because it's just, it's, I can't put it down. It's just cool. Let's put something away here. I already did a review on this. I have not done the full review on this yet. I did an unboxing and first impressions. You will see that. Uh, put the Tucson away. This was the Tucson TS-128. And this is a really cool knife. I do like this. The other two Tucsons I got, yeah, uh, but I like that one a whole lot. Somebody mentioned the Harkins. Something about that niche designs that I love. I'll pull that out in a second too. I have it right here. You know what? Me too, BD Swam. It's, it's weird. It's not like my usual thing, but man, it's just uh, it's just kind of cool. Here's the Harkins ATAC dual action, not double action, because double action on auto means something else. It's dual action, so you saw it just fire out auto, but you can also just use it manually. And if you open it manually, it closes manually. No indication that it's an auto, but if you know the secret spot to push insert like my ex-wife joke here uh it just pops right out so um yeah this is the uh protec harkins atac somebody just asked me about it so i brought it out here uh this is an interesting one i have coming up this week i have a question i'm awaiting an answer for from the manufacturer before i do the review because i want to make sure that it's not just mine that is like this, but uh, this is the CGRB Crag with that new recoil lock. So it kind of acts like an axis lock, but it's up here. Um, it just drops like an axis lock. It reminds me the spring feels a lot different, like the spring tension feels quite a bit different. But the thing I want to make sure before I do the review is I don't, it rattles like a lot and I don't, I don't know if that's normal. It's a budget knife, but I I don't know. So, um, yeah. Uh, John James says, please feature anything on a flipper. I just did a whole video about that. I just did a whole video of uh, my top 10 favorite thumb stud knives. So, um, yeah. We're going to keep things switching fast and furious. 10 minutes in, I've already taken two knives off. Somebody mentioned the niche, the niche ingress. Yeah, this is, it's just cool. It is big and silly, but man, it'll cut. It is slicey as all get out, and I just really like it. Um, really, really like it. The Ritter Mini looks a lot like the Mini Freak. Well, yeah, because the regular Freak also looks like. And you will see a battle to the death with these two. So sometime later this week, I'll have the full review of this. And then sometime thereafter, I'll do a little battle to the death with these two. Even though this is a lot more. This is like, what, 280? And this is, uh, or 260. Is that what these are? Is it 260 or 280? Somebody tell me that. And these are 140, so. The channel is EDC with Ocon and Kane. Yeah, look that up. It is linked. There's a pinned comment down below. It's not in the description. It's in the pinned comment. But uh, 263. Yeah, that's what it was. Um, I couldn't remember if it was 263 or 283. 
Oh my God, the Quiet Carry Waypoint. That is a good one. I have it here. We'll swap something out here in a moment. Uh, here's one that I've really been liking again now that it's hot out. And I actually hadn't carried it in a while. And I got it out for that uh, thumb stud knife video. Uh, the Giant Mouse Ace Iona, the aluminum one. This is good. I just, I really like this thing. The more I carry it, the more I like it. It's definitely growing on me. Liked it initially anyway. And then it's just the more I use it, the more it grows on me. Uh, Lyndon Durgan says, can you help me decide which Chris Reeve to get? I have no idea which one to choose. I like the 31 large. That's definitely my thing. Um, Lethal Blaze, did you see the Sith Red Iona? I did. That was cool. I already had the blue one, so I didn't, I didn't jump on it. But, um, uh, yeah, the Iona is pretty cool. You got to check it out. Um, actually, you know what, Okan, you've done so much for me. You have a new channel now. Uh, email me your mailing address. I'm going to be going to the post office uh, tomorrow afternoon, so um, I'll, I'll, I'll send you this one. You can borrow it. Um, it's still, like, new, but if you want to check it out, shoot me an email. I think you've got my email address. It's down below if you don't. Yes, the Super Chat is open if you want to kick in a few shekels. I always appreciate that. And, as I said, join the Patreon because there's a pretty big sale preview going up, like, as soon as this is over with. Love the Iona. Yeah, that's a good one. Didn't you get the red one, Big Red? I thought you got the red one. Why is my email program not opening? I'm trying to look at stuff. That application not responding. Um, yeah, you did get the red one. Yeah, that's. I knew you'd get the red one. Of course you would. I would have if I didn't already have the blue one. But blue red, I'm kind of, I'm kind of blue red neutral. I like both of them. So yeah. A couple of you already joined the pa uh, joined the Patreon. I don't normally push the Patreon so hard, but tonight I just do have a lot of really cool stuff coming up for sale. And um, if you guys want early access to it, it just costs you a couple bucks. If you buy a knife and then unsubscribe from the Patreon after that, not going to hurt my feelings. That's totally fine. Um, I get why you'd want to do that, but there's going to be a pretty cool sale coming up that uh, they get 24 hours early access to. If they need a purple one, you are right, Big Red. I'd be all over a purple one of these. Um, Lethal Blade says the red was made for charity. Yeah, it was like for the bar that they were at when they conceived the company, wasn't it? Like to help the workers there that were laid off. That's a very, I like, I like charity that's really specific. That's really cool. Yeah, Keith is a moderator. There's the link to Okan's channel. So, uh, Okan, I got, now I say I have to say it. The Patreon link is down below in the description. John James. Um, but, uh, yeah, Oak, that Oaken and Kane channel is very, very good. Damn furniture. Such a such a simple idea. That, like, God, why didn't I think of that? That's just so funny. I just love you. Put the little knives on the couch. It's just hilarious. Um, and I would just be constantly adding furniture. I'd have like a little, like a little, like lamp and a wood stove. I just keep adding stuff to it. It'd just be fun. Hey, BZ, how's it going? Um. Lethal Blade says, UNMC needed more competitions. We've talked about a couple. I think uh, the next one I'm going to do is with somebody else. Um, and thank you, John. Um, I think I'm going to do one with Zach stuff. We have we arranged one and um, with high, much higher stakes at the end. So uh, what's the price on the niche? I don't know. I, somebody found some other stats that I didn't find, so maybe they'll know. But uh, it comes up on the 17th on um, Kickstarter, so I'm not really sure. Uh, John says, you said you wrote comedy, please share. I don't, I, I write, but I'm also a stand up. If you just look for, uh, on, on my, on this very channel, uh, there's a, um, there's a, uh, video for my stand. It was like an 18 minute video. Just look for, just search slicey dicey stand up. You'll find like a little 20 minute set. Um, uh, what's coming up on Kickstarter? This, the niche ingress on the 17th. Oh, sorry, sorry, Mister. How was the Bud Light? Horrid. It was horrid. Uh, Lyndon Durgan says, "Does anyone know when the Spider Coast Swayback is releasing?" Last I heard was end of the month. What is the drink tonight? The drink tonight is back, back in the saddle. No more Bud Light. We have the uh, Brooklyn Summer. What did everyone carry today, Brian? That is a secret that I'm going to share at the end of the video, Oaken. Funny that you should mention it, because I want to remind everybody. Stick around at the end of the show, because I have a knife from a major manufacturer that I get. I got special permission to show it to you guys tonight. So, um, got special permission. I, I don't know how many people have them. I think only a handful of people have them. Um, 
But uh, yeah, it's been shown, but it's not released yet. Not going to be released for a couple weeks, but I'm allowed to show it to you. So uh, very happy about that. Hey, Chad, how's it going? You live in Brooklyn, too. Yeah, Brooklyn summer is good. Somebody asked earlier, well, I missed the question, I meant to answer it. Uh, somebody said, does it taste like Brooklyn in the summer? I meant to say, God, I hope not. I love Brooklyn, but I don't want to, like, lick a Brooklyn street in the summertime. Keith says, I'm sporting the quiet carry at the moment. Yeah, the quiet carry is pretty awesome. Yeah, but, oh, can shoot me an email if you want to borrow this. Uh, always eager to help out a new channel. Shoot me an email. We'll have a chat. We'll see if maybe there's some other stuff that I might want to uh, might want to loan you. Help you guys get started because you just have such a good gimmick. That I, I appreciate a good gimmick. Pull out my fancy pants PM2 with the sharp dress knives scales on it. Uh, Cody W is carrying a murdered out PM2. You know, I've kind of had a desire for that. Like, uh, a PM2 just looks... I don't normally like coated blades, but man, a PM2 just all black. Just looks really cool. I will definitely send you one, man, because that would be a great help. Yeah, we'll go down a list. I'll see if uh, there's stuff that I don't have any plans for, but I'm not going to get rid of for a while. I can think of a few already. I'll send you four or five. Doesn't make any sense just to send one. Once you're doing a flat rate package, you might as well just cram four or five in there. The Caligo I carried today is technically murdered out. Yeah, the, the, the Caligo is pretty good. They did They did do that in a D2, didn't they? Um, I just subbed to your Patreon. I hope those knives are good. You're going to have to be quick. I know a couple of them are going to go immediately. But, uh, yeah, there's some good stuff. Yeah, like I'll say, there's one that came out recently that sold out everywhere, and I accidentally got two of them. So, um, uh, are you getting the 9400 Auto? Yes, I will definitely be getting that. I'm a huge 940 fan, so I can say with 100% certainty that I will have a 940 on this channel. Um, I wish more companies made a dark finish like Mosier. I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, Knife Therapy says, crazy looking scales on that PM2. Yeah, they're great. I, oh my God, in person, they're just so pretty. They're so pretty. Uh, John James says, how do we share beers with you? Uh, some people have mailed them to me before, but uh, doesn't happen often, but I always appreciate that. I am working on a beer sponsor for the channel. Now that all this stuff is loosening up, I can actually go meet with them. I'm probably going to do that. So, uh, G Man says, Para 3 Spy 27, trying to like the Para 3 Lightweight. Not sure about it. I like the Para 3 Lightweight. I am definitely getting a Spy 27 Para 3 and actually will be replacing my regular Para 3 with it because I want to actually use that Spy 27. So, um, uh, CPM M4 thoughts. Kyle Thomas says one of my favorite steels. Actually, it's it's not that hard to sharpen. It just takes a really long time. And you gotta have diamonds. Um, but if you have diamond stones, it's uh, it's not bad. Um, do you like sour beers? No, I do not, Ryan. That I, I think it is disgusting. Is there texture on that? Nope. They are very very smooth, and it's just uh, it just has a whole bunch of different carbon things going on. And I have a Casey Lynch clip on it this is not an mxg gear it's an actual real casey lynch and um yeah i i like this thing a lot and it is it is by the way the s45 vn one i took the uh, green scales off which i'm not going to sell um cold steel air light thanks for the tip serious knife i barely know is in my pocket the chaz says yeah the, oh, the air light is awesome it is definitely going to be on my top 10 budget knives at the end of the year i can't see it dropping off and the more i use that os 10 the more i like it it's just really, really cool. Uh, love you, Brian. See the new Zerks coming. Pick on Adam's Insta. No, I did not see that one, Knife Whisperer. But I do have a... Uh, um, uh, yep. Prim is it the Progeny MR or Primordial MR? Progeny MR coming uh, tomorrow. Uh, so I hope tomorrow. Let's actually look at U.S. Postal. They claim Tuesday, but it's, it's close to here. I bet I'll have it tomorrow. Uh, but I will probably, if that arrives tomorrow, you will probably see a first impressions video of that up tomorrow night because I think that is just going to be a great freaking knife. And I feel very, very bad that he, that Adam Purvis designed that amazing uh, Texel last year and I didn't get it in time for my budget knife of the year. So I want to make sure I get the uh, MR 
in so that it, as soon as possible, it's kind of my apology to him. I just, I didn't even ask him to borrow one. I just, I just bought one. Keith says the USPS, grr. Well, you know what, Keith, why we like USPS around my house is because if something is just here and it's going to arrive early, it just arrives early. If it's FedEx and it says Wednesday, it's going to be Wednesday, not a minute before. And that always makes me very mad. I never get anything FedEx or UPS early. Um, I live near a U.S. Postal Hub, too, so that helps out a whole lot. I get stuff pretty quick, usually, U.S. Postal. Lord Slicey, that must be Professor EDC, yep. Um, hope everybody's doing well and safe, so what's up? Just uh, just chilling, just hanging out. The Super Chat is opening when it's kicking a few shekels, really appreciate that. Hello, Hiram. And yes, again, just a reminder, there is going to be a pretty significant sale preview on the Patreon page tonight. As soon as this is over with, like mere minutes after, I have to adjust the price because I realized that I got it wrong. Um, and then it's going to be right up there. That's why FedEx is better. No, why is it better to have it come late? And thank you, Mark. Thank you. Sorry, I missed one scrolling fast. Thank you, BD. Appreciate it. USPS delivers on Sundays. Gotta love that. I think they only do that during the holidays. I think I got all of them now. Am I caught up on the Super Chats? Oh, Lethal Blades, another one. Thank you very much. Uh, what are your favorite and least favorite steals? Uh, least favorites, 8CR. Uh, favorites, if we're just kicking around, S35VN, quote-unquote super steals, the M390 20CV. I mean, yeah, the M390 20CV, C, the whatever 204P conglomerate, I would say. All right, I think I'm caught up on the Super Chats now. John James, super sticker. Kiefer says, at least it shows up. Oh, that's true. Keith is having a bad time right now because I mailed him something, and for some reason it left Rochester, and it's not shown up there yet. So you're right, yeah. Oh, yeah, Amazon delivers on Sundays, but that's just Amazon. Uh, I got packages from USPS today. Well, good for you, Ryan. They don't in my town. At least not that I've ever noticed. When is mine going to show up? Um... Eh, maybe it's not going to show up tomorrow. We'll see. I have a backup plan if not. If not, it's going to be um, a different video that I have. I just recorded to today. So if the the progeny doesn't show up tomorrow, what, uh, what would you guys like to see? We'll do this. Uh, do you want to see? I have it here. Two knives that I got last week that I've been carrying a lot and can do a full review on. You guys have seen this XM18 a lot, so we'll take this out. I can't believe I thought about selling this and just keeping the scale, but then I carried it the other day. I'm like, yeah, you know what? Just a plain old XM18 slicer is pretty cool. Not that one's plain, but you know what I mean, the configuration. Do you want to see the full review of the Spyderco Canis or the Mini Freak? Um, I got my magic on its way back from alone that is also stuck. You know what I think the problem is, Keith? U.S. Postal knows you work for FedEx. I think that's what it is. All right, we're even Stevens. All right, many freaks went ahead. This is going to be a completely unscientific. Let's be like a vote in Chicago. I'm just going to take a glance and take a guess. Uh, can it's legit or no? I really like it. I actually really like both of these. So they're both going to be pretty positive reviews. I'll just give you a spoiler on that. Uh, there's couple little things I don't like about either one of them, but pretty cool knives for sure. Um, it still looks pretty even right now. Vanny's, I'm going to assume it to be Canis. Maybe you know someone named Vanny. That's a weird autocorrect. Hey, Jeremy Russell, how's it going? Uh, sorry, late. we had a cookout to commemorate my grill's last hurrah. The, the beer will be there by next weekend. Oh, cool. Thanks. I've forgotten all about that. You getting a new grill? Um, using the best of your destination skills. I'm going to say the Canis is ahead right now. Um, one American lawman. Well, if you're going to have one knife, the American lawman is a pretty, pretty good choice. It's pretty solid. I hope to have a beer sponsor for this show soon. That would be cool. Um, Mark says, do you like Strider? Not particularly, no. 
uh, canis or smock. Um, to use, I would say the canis to actually um, play with uh, the smock. MC got Bud Light to sponsor. You know, it's a local local brewery. Libby, you know me. I'm a beer snob. Uh, how much is the Mini Freak retailing for? Two sixty three. Someone just uh, just told me because I wasn't sure myself. I can remember if it was two sixty three or two eighty three. Uh, do you like the Canis better than the Watu? I don't think so. I really, really, really like the Watu. Um, for my purposes, uh, I, I would, I use the Watu more. I think I will use the Watu more often, but when I want something a little bigger, this is, this is pretty great. A new grill will be here Friday. You know, I have not used mine yet this year. I've been horrible. I need to clean it out and everything. It's still sitting under the cover outside. Uh, scales on the pair. These are sharp dress knives. These are the White Storm, I think they're called. Uh, I know that the fat carbon makes the actual carbon fiber, but um, I use mine long enough to realize I need more propane. Yeah, I haven't used it since October, so I'm probably just not even going to try. I'm just going to put a new cylinder on it. I want to go back to charcoal if I get a new one. I'll go back to charcoal, but what is a solid gateway hinderer for a first timer? Jim Sarka, absolutely, definitely the Jurassic. I would get a Jurassic. See, Haram, thanks for coming by. Um, but no, the Jurassic is an excellent one. Do you like the small Doug Ritter or the Mini Freak better? Well, that is in an upcoming battle to the death, so I cannot spoil that for you. And honestly, I haven't scored them side by side yet, so I'm not really certain. Because sometimes I surprise myself. Sometimes I, uh, um, I'll think in my mind I like one, and then I score it differently. So sometimes I don't agree with my own scores. That's just the way it goes. Science! Uh, Mark says, do you like Benchmade or Spyderco more? I have more Spydercos, but that's because of the variety. Um, I like... I guess I would say, yeah, I guess technically I like Spyderco more, but it's not because, like... It's just there's more variety. I guess that's what it is. There are just so many spider coasts. It's really just because of the variety. I really have no other opinion over than that. I do have... I have a lot of Benchmates, too. Though. Those are the two I have the most of. I think I have, what, like a... I don't know, maybe a dozen Benchmates and maybe 20 spider coasts. Pulled the trigger on a spend of 21 before they're all gone. Congrats, Mark. $120 more for the Benchmade. Yeah, that's going to be a hard one to overcome, Kevin, in the... Uh, in the scores, I can tell you value-wise, I can. That's one spoiler I'll say. And value-wise, it's definitely going to be the Ritter, but that's that's only one category. Uh, agreed that Jurassic is the best tender. It really is. Let me get mine out. I've heavily customized mine, but um, it is it is done that way because I like it so much. And other sharp dress knife scales, so we'll put the niche away. But yeah, if you like the look of this thing, which it is unique, but go check out their Kickstarter. There's a link on their page, niche designs dot something. It's in the video I did about it, but um that's on the 17th. But yeah, here's the Jurassic with my cardis scales from Sharp Dress Knives, and then I had I think I already had the copper uh, pocket clip and uh filler tab for it. I always want to say hole filler. Filler tab sounds much better than hole filler. Got to be careful about that. My current grill is only 15 months old so, or old or so. On my few and far between weekend off, which will become a lot more frequent. We grill price per week. Yeah, charcoal is, I know, but I, I cheesed out and got the gas one, and it is convenient. I got a pretty decent gas one. I can't remember the brand of it. Maybe it's a Weber? I don't remember. But, um... Uh, yes, that's what she said. Um, but yeah, get a Jurassic. Just the ergos on the Jurassic are the best of all the hinderers. And it's three and a quarter, so it's like a good size. It's not big and ridiculous. Not that an XM18 is ridiculous, but it's this is a little smaller than a than a XM18 three and a half, but a little bigger than a three inch, a little bigger than the um, uh, a little bigger than the half track. But again, 111 of you on here. Pretty cool. It's a Pretty, pretty good turnout. That's about what our average been lately. And we'll say stick around to the end. You're going to see a knife that only I'm allowed to show you on the tubes of you. 
Uh, Jeremy Russell says, I can taste the gas in the food and it ruins it. Jeremy, I actually found, we have a local place that, uh, it's a different brand. I can't remember the name of it. It's not like the usual blue flame or whatever. There's one brand of gas that this local place has that do, I don't taste it at all. Um, is the Jurassic similar in size to the ZT0562? No, Kane, it's a little bit smaller. Can I get my 056 too tight? Can I reach it? I'm doing yoga for you guys. That's the wrong case. The things I do. The things I do for you people. So this is the 0562. And yes, yeah, so you can see the Jurassic is just a little bit smaller. It's not like dramatic. Come on. There we go. We're back. We're back. Yep. Um, sorry about that. The wonders of the interwebs. Pellet grill. I'm going to check one of those out. I'm going to have to check one of those out. I've never tried one. But a couple people on here have said that now. So um, they didn't like the whole comment. Yeah. I, I was inst instantaneously uh, censored. Charcoal or nothing. Yeah, I, don't, I had charcoal for a long time, but you know why I don't use charcoal is laziness. I'm not good at cleaning it out afterwards and figuring out what to do with the, all the ashes and stuff. So, uh, me with knives slice today. Today's the Army birth, Army's birthday, 245th. Well, congratulations. I assume must be you were in the Army. I was Air Force. Worked a lot with you guys, though. I worked at Pope Air Force Base, which is now Pope Army Airfield which we used to always jokingly call it Pope Army Airfield, and now that's what it actually is, which is what it always should have been. Because all, all we did was support the Army. Marines. What well, scales are on the pair of three? This is a PM2, and they are Sharp Dress Knives uh, White Storm. Uh, Professor EC says, Brian, you know if the chaparral over breaks in, just got one, and it's stiff like a corpse. Uh, mine was never that bad out of the box, but yeah, they do break in a little bit. Probably just got to loosen it up a little bit. My grill is natural gas, super convenient. Um, Professor, I got another shout-out coming for you tonight, Neve says. Cool. Army, Navy, we're going to get a whole inter-branch inter, uh, war here. Soon there'll be a Coast Guard guy on here. <laughs> no, there won't. Um, let's switch some more knives out. What, else, what are we going to move that's been here a while? We will take out this. Take out the Hogue and bring in another one I've been enjoying quite a bit lately. But when it's been hot out, because this is nice and slim in my pocket. The Artisan Cutlery Centauri. Really like that a lot. Space Force, Connor Mitchell. Man, I watched that show. I actually sat through the whole thing, and man, that was uh, disappointing. That was disappointing. That was not good. I don't really like everything Steve Carell's in. I kept thinking it was going to get better. It wasn't good. You liked it, Libby? I just don't know. I didn't like it. I just didn't care for it. I mean, it was fine, but I guess I just expected it to be amazing. With the cast and the writers, and I just found it to be kind of disappointing. Uh, Bob B says, "Love the Centauri. Want the Micarta version?" Um, yeah, I'm I'm eager for the mini one. This is the big one. Gee, uh, some Tormentia Centauri in the canist. Maybe a battle to the death. No, they're really not that similar at all. This is like a tactical-y kind of knife, and this is just a big, slim, front-flipper, classy thing. Uh, QC Waypoint has turned me into a one-knife guy, Freedom Van says. Yeah, it is It is kind of that It is kind of that good, I will say. Um, it kind of is that good. How did I? Okay. I had to remember which way I opened it to figure out which way to close it. I have... Since everybody's talking about it, I still have all my knives from the uh, thumb stud video sitting next to me, so it's right here. The Quiet Carry Waypoint. Uh, Mark F five six one says, "Any Grail customs? Uh, I guess a Koenig Arius. I don't really pay that much attention to the customs because it's just not. 
not in my price bracket, so I just don't don't pay attention to it. Um, the Waypoint looks great, way too much for my budget. Uh, QC Waypoint better than QC Drift. Yeah, it seems to be. I mean, I've never had a Drift, but uh, I am getting the new one. He just announced one the other day. It's supposed to be out early next week. What is it called? It looks like a Drift, but it's got G10 scales. Still all the same LC200N stuff. Did somebody else see that on, on Instagram? If somebody else wants to... You know what? I can look. I have two phones now, so... You guys have made me Johnny Two Phones. It's my new nickname. So that I can look at my Instagram and stuff while I'm waiting for the show to start. So let's look up. Quiet, Carrie. And... We will see. Yeah, this one. So, the Chase... I'm getting one of these. I have to buy it, but he said he'd hold me one so I don't miss out on it, so that's cool of him. So, uh, yeah, LC200N blade and LC200N liner. So it'll still be all totally, you know, uh, corrosion-proof like all the other ones are. So uh, pretty excited about that. Looks more like the Drift than the Waypoint, obviously, but don't know what the price is going to be yet. I'll find out <laughs> when I get a bill for it. But, um... Yeah, and just remember, is OCD on here? Oh, hey, OCD for EDC. How's it going, man? You're one of my favorite channels. I'm just going to say that. Um, I do the... I give a lot of my favorite channels there. Neves Knives is great. Again, scroll down and look at uh, the um, pinned comment and subscribe to Okan and Kane. Okan and Kane. I'll get it right one of these days. They're new, but... Um, yeah. OCD and I have very, very similar tastes. So that's why I like his channel a lot. Um, are CGRB knives legit? John James says, yeah, I think a lot of them are pretty cool. I actually have been carrying one quite a bit as a secondary because I got this really cool thing from uh, Pocket Pens. So Pocket Pens has a lot of new products out. So I reached out to him and said, hey, show me, show me some stuff. And uh, yeah, they sent me this really cool little leather slip they have now. So it's got a Pocket Pen in it. These are really cool pens if you don't know of them. Paca spelled like that. P O K K A pens.com. And uh, this little cool slip that has a spot for one of their pens or for I've had my um, my Machine Era fits in it just fine. My Machine Era Classic, but I've been carrying the uh, well, ours and cutlery. I guess it's not CGRB. I always keep thinking this is CGRB because it's so cheap, but the Biome slip joint this is a really cool little knife. I do like that a lot. Hi, all just getting ready for the live show. Yeah, when we're done, pop over to OCD for EDC after you go to Patreon and buy some knives. <laughs> and, uh, pop over to OCD for EDC and uh, check out his live show. I will probably be hanging out there tonight because I'll be answering emails for um, the Patreon knife sale. So again, if you want to get early access to stuff, scroll down in the com in the uh, description. Look for the Patreon page. Any Any level... Gets you early access to knife sales, and there is no schedule for that. It's just whenever I decide to sell some stuff. So, um, yeah, it's like the fourth thing down there. It's just patreon.com slash slicey dicey. Pretty easy to remember. Um, I really like that slip. How much are they? Justin Small says, I believe they're $37. So they're not cheap, but they're not horribly expensive. Either. And it is actual, like, leather. So, um... Yeah, they're pretty nice, though. It's just very, it's just a perfect size. Uh, I carry it like this a lot. This is what I mostly carry it with, is with some budgety stuff in it. Oh, pulled that out wrong. Um, and then sometimes I also carry it when I'm feeling fancy. I have a semi-fancy case uh, mini trapper and my aforementioned um, Machine Era Classic. So I carry this. This is pretty heavy. Pretty heavy combination. <laughs> the brass machine air is pretty heavy, and the, the mini trapper is pretty heavy. So this is kind of a chunk, but um, is it USA made? I know lots of pocket stuff is. It is, Oaken. Thank you for pointing that out. Yes, it definitely is. Um, yeah, uh, they do a lot of USA made stuff. So, and uh, have you had it? Have you had a uh, a pocket pen, Oaken? Um. How's the S45 working out? Not bad. I've only had a chance to carry it a couple times because I've just had so much new stuff coming in. But so far, it seems, seems pretty good. I mean, it doesn't seem dramatically better. Post links, please. Can't do that. Um, uh, 
You're just going to have to look stuff up. It blocks all that and the things. Um, if someone wants to post that in the comments when this is done, feel free to do that. Uh, but yeah, I like pocket pen stuff. Pretty cool. Um, any questions I missed back here? Uh, oh, Jim Sar Sarka says, any interest in the upcoming Wii Banter? Yes, I will do my bestest to get my hands on one of those. I like Ben a lot. He's a he's a really cool guy, and I just want to support him and try it out. It looks like something I'd like anyway. I have three knives coming. What do I have? Oh, the two new Civivis, that Cleaver thing, and the other one. I'm so bad at remembering their names. And a Kaiser... Um... Ah, what the hell is it? The Contrail? Yeah, the Dogma. That's it. The cleavery thing and the Dogma. Uh, KNXT says, going to Blade Show. Uh, not not really sure. I I don't want to, um, given the the global situation. One of my favorite wrestling um, YouTube channels calls it the Global Bastard. That's kind of my favorite thing to call it. But I um, kind of don't really want to. And I know a whole lot of places aren't going, or a whole lot of companies aren't going. So I don't know. But... Um, we will see. It's going to be a game time decision. I don't think I'll have a hard time getting a hotel room, so I'm not really that worried about it. Oh yeah, the Bull Mastiff and the Dogma. I've got those two coming, and the um, yeah, the Kaiser Contrail. Bony Blade says, "Ask about how much the scales are. I think these are about 120. Not bad for what they are. He has scales that are down to like 80 bucks." Thank you very much, Scott. Appreciate the super chat. Scored a Spider Coast Siren, Cold Steel Recon One Tanto. I have one of those. Is it within arm's reach? Ah, no, it isn't. But I do have one of those myself. Um, and a case back pocket slip, which has to be their best QC ever. 100 rounds of blah, 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 ammo. Uh, did I do a good thing? Yeah, sounds like a good thing. I don't like stuff in my back pockets. I'm weird. You know what? Speaking of back pockets, um, I have to say... Um, I have uh, made a conversion in my favorite jeans. So I'm doing an article for uh, EDC guide that we have. And um, it's an urban EDC guide. And I asked 511 Tactical for some stuff. And I got two pairs of the 511 Tactical like stretched jeans. Oh my God, I love these. They are really nice jeans. And they have a, a weird pocket that's like between the front pocket and the back pocket. So it's good for a knife, but I mostly use it for for uh, my phone. It it fits my full size. I have an iPhone XS Max. It fits in there, and it's just a great place to have my phone. I can sit down, and it doesn't bother me, but I still have, like, room in my pockets. I'm totally into them. They're stretchy, but they're not tight, Therapeutic Edge. They're just they're stretchy, so when you bend around, they don't pinch you, but they're not, like, skinny jeans. I got the slim fit, but not the skinnies. Um, but yeah, I've always almost bought them and then they sent me two pairs of them and I'm in love. They are fantastic. I tried the Verdex Defiant Gene. I love, Defiant Gene. I, lo I, uh, I will. I'm, uh, I've never heard of those. His next stuff. Howdy at a rest stop checking in. Well, I hope you're resting and not like on the pooper. You probably are, aren't you? You're probably sitting in the bathroom checking in on my live stream. Oh, well. Uh, that's how I feel about Duluth ballroom jeans. <laughs> I've never tried those yet. Um, I like the Duluth commercials, though, a whole lot. I almost bought some of their underwear, but uh, just because I like the commercials so much. The commercials are hilarious. I like the new one they have where the kangaroo kicks the guy in the crotch. Um, never went back to anything else after I tried 5'11 pants and shorts. Michael Taylor, yep. Oh, yeah, see, Okan, I can't, I can't, Okan, God, I'll get it right one of these days. I can't deal with the stuff in my back pockets. It just always drives me insane. But I like this little three-quarter pocket. Uh, what kind of front flipper is that? This is the uh, Artisan Cutlery Centauri. It's a Ray Laconico design, as you can see by that. Pretty big for a front flipper, but very slim, very light. I really like it. 511 boots are the comfiest boots I've ever owned. Uh, my wife has banned me from buying more shoes. I actually bought a new pair of shoes the other day, and I, I was told that I was allowed to buy them as long as I got rid of two. 
because I have lots of sneakers. I'm becoming kind of a sneaker nerd. So um, I got a pair of uh, Nike Air Max. Uh, the, they're the cheap ones, the like $90 ones. But I got them through the PX, because through AFES, because I'm a vet. So I'm allowed to use that now. So they were only like 72 But um, the Nike Air Max Axis, I love them. They're great. Uh, do you have any copper or brass stuff you like? David Barrett says, yeah, I have a lot on my keychains. I've got one of those that uh, my keys aren't around here. They're hanging out by the door. But I have a little Ferrum Forge uh, utility knife thing. And, um, and I've got this brass pen that I carry a lot. And I have, uh, what else copper? Do I, there's something else copper on my keys, but I can't remember what it is. Um... Chris P says, any tips for rusted bearings disassembled using ZT0425? Yes, while watching you, I found the pivot covered in rust. Ooh, that's not very good. Um, I don't really know. I don't, somebody will have something on here about that. Luckily, I live in an environment where stuff doesn't really rust very often. Um, Okan says, I worked in shoes for like 10 years. I had two in it. Yeah, same, th same for me, Okan. I had a, with my bicycle website, for a while, um, Keen, which I love Keen shoes, uh, Keen was making bicycle shoes. So they gave me a dealer account. And for a while I got everything for free. And then for a few more years, I got everything half price. So uh, I have, I still have lots and lots and lots of pairs of Keens. The sandals have stopped working for me though. I can't do the Keen sandals anymore. Um, drinking Maker's Mark on ice and ice. Tackle Central Fishing says, what's in your pocket? You will find out in uh, eight minutes, the last five minutes of the show. I'm going to uh, show them, uh, show it. It's uh, a, an exclusive um, uh, that I'm only allowed to show. I got special permission from the company that I'm allowed to show it to you guys. Just a quick little tease, though. I'm not going to give the full review or anything. The full review will be up the day they're actually available to buy. But, um, yeah. Yeah. And someone on this channel is going to be mad, but I just asked nicely and they said, sure. They actually said, that would be great. So I'm going to do that really quick. It's a Watu XL. No, it's actually been shown, but it's just not released yet. Um, yeah, Keens are great. I love their hiking boots. I have two different variants of the Targi 2s. I've got the regular like boots boots, and then I've got the um, meshy, uh, the vents the Targi 2 low vents. I actually had those on yesterday because I got some, I got some uh, sweet and sour sauce on my Air Maxes and I had to wash them. <laughs> so, uh, what state do you live in? I live in upstate New York. So it's a pretty temperate climate. So obviously cars rust like crazy, but stuff in your pockets don't at all. Oaken says, damn, I'm curious. Yeah. Um, how's the quality of the artisan? Are they compared to Civivi? They're getting better and better every day. I wouldn't say they're well, Artisan's more expensive than... You're more comparing Artisan to Wii. Um, I wouldn't say they're quite there yet. And CGRB to Civivi, I'd say the same thing. But they're pretty close. They're not that far off. And they're getting better and better every day. They're cheaper. So, Oaken says, if it's the rose gold magic, I'm driving to Rochester. Ha ha ha. No, I don't, I don't have one of those yet. I, I have somebody looking out for one for me. Um... How's the canis holding up? Pretty good. I've been, I actually did some uh, fairly serious uh, cardboard destroying with it the other day. Um, I fought an insurgent. No, I'm just kidding. It's just, it's a, uh, it's a tactical knife ostensibly. So I, I just make jokes about it, but no, I just use it like regular EDC knife. Carries kind of big in the pocket, you know, sort of like uh Manix 2. It really reminds me of like a Manix 2 in the pocket. Kind of almost to the point, if I closed my eyes, I wouldn't know which one was in my pocket. It feels like that very similar to it. Uh, but I really like it. The action is, I have not touched this. I didn't touch a screw on this thing. I just started carrying it, and I'm assuming this has the uh, pivot bushing in it. I'll take it apart and look at that, but it seems like all the uh, all the Taichung Spydercos have that now, because, man, just out of the box. Uh, tactical versus, are you getting the Spyderco Poochie? No, I will not be getting that. I will not support that silly thing. Um, plans with my dad today to buy his 1970 Mercury Marauder. Pretty excited. Oh, Freedom Van. I am so jealous. That is secretly one of my favorite cars. There is a guy down the street who has one 
and it's like maroon with a black Landau top, but it's just like in driver condition. Those things look so evil in the right car. Like a blacked out 70 Mercury Marauder is a murderer's car. I just really want one of those just because they look so evil when they're all just blacked out. Oh, the Marauder is an awesome car. That and the Cougar, like of the same era, they're just, they're so cool. I don't know why, but they just look like, they look like you are fleeing the scene of a bank robbery every time you drive one. They are super cool. What else did I want to talk about? I wanted to mention the 511 jeans because I'm blown away by them. I'm actually going to try and do a jeans review. I got a pair for my son that fit him, so I have a model. And uh, what else did I want to talk about? Let's look at my notes. I think we hit everything else. Was there any other knife I wanted to show? Uh, we're just going to rotate some stuff around, I guess. We'll put away the... Uh... Oh, by the way, go check out Match Anderson Scales. It's on Facebook, Match Anderson. Really, really cool. XR7 with a 351. Yeah, those are, they're just evil looking. I don't, it's just the shape of them. Just, they always remind me of like a car chase in a 70s movie. Can't believe you've heard of that car. No, they're great, man. The 70 Mercury Marauder is just so cool. I need to see Artisan with new lock. I, where did I put it? Oh, it's, it's between my legs. <laughs> Sometimes that's where they wind up. Yeah, this is the crag with the uh, recoil lock. Rattles. I'm hoping that's just mine. I asked them about it. I haven't heard back yet. As soon as I do, you'll see a review of it. But uh, right now, waiting to hear back on that because I don't want to say yuck without knowing for sure that uh, that's just how they are. I think it's just how they are. I told it, I tore it apart. I can't see, can't see what, uh, what you could do to fix it. Mine is a X100 with a 429 LMA 20. Wow, that's a badass car. That's a big old motor. I hope you live close to the gas station. Uh, what kind of Spider Co. is that? Not the PM2. This is the Canis. Apparently, it will be the review tomorrow night. So you will see the review of that up tomorrow night at 8. That's the one I already recorded, too, so you guys made it easy. I recorded that this morning. My office gets really, really hot, and my office slash studio, really more studio now than an office, but um, it uh, we had temperatures like in the 60s the last three days, so I've just been banking videos. Uh, are those the one for soldiers? It's like like a tactical-minded knife, but it's still a uh, still pretty good EDC knife. My dad had a Colony Park wagon with the 429. We had a uh, Mercury Tornado wagon with the 429 in it when I was a kid. It was cool. I'd love to have that thing back again. It was just white. It didn't have the wood sides. It was white with a blue interior and a 429 in it. What are you drinking tonight? It is uh, Brooklyn Summer. What about the new Sog Terminus and Big? I didn't see that. Are they making a bigger one? What is the beer this week post... Uh, yeah, I just showed it. Post Bud Light, yeah. I'm out of the Bud Light now. My dad had a Torino with a 429 Cobra Jet. I don't think it was a Cobra Jet. Are they all t Cobra Jets? I don't know. It was... Uh, I just remember it was a 429. Back when I was a little boy. But they were all... That was post-smog restrictions. So they were all pretty castrated. So, we're going to put... Nah, we're not going to put everything away. We'll leave it out because I need one of them. So, last guesses. I teased you guys. So it's a knife from a major manufacturer that I'm allowed to tease you with. I'm not going to do the full review, but I got special permission to be allowed to show it to you. And uh, it's been shown, but they uh, it's not going to be released until the 25th. So you'll be able to buy it on the 25th. Zach is going to be very mad about it, except for that Betty's already got one. But I did get permission from Benchmade to show it. Yes, the 9400, the automatic 940, and uh, it's it's pretty good. It is every bit of 940 that's an automatic. 
here we'll hold them up this is uh that's why i brought this one out uh this is a 940-1 so yeah somebody said are you going to get a 9400 it was in my pocket so I, I just said i can guarantee you there will be a 9400 on this channel i didn't say when uh msrp i don't remember i probably should have looked at that i think they're going for like 230 um on the market somewhat 229 is it just as thick behind the edge? Uh, yeah, it's a little thinner than my 940-1. I don't really exact modders, or tech modders, exact numbers, but it's a little thinner behind the edge, but not much. It's pretty much the exact same knife. It's just an auto. Yeah, Zach knew because I knew he'd be mad because, yeah. YouTube exclusive now. I guess somebody snuck a little video out of one and they were told to take it down. Uh, but um, no, they did tell me I could, I could at least tease you guys with it. So... Uh, it's not my color, obviously, green, but um, it has the purple backspacer. I get why they did that, though. Heritage, that's what the original 940 colors were. Totally get why they did that. Uh, not my choice of color, but... And I did put a bug-out clip on it. It does not come with this. It comes with the split arrow clip. But yeah, I've been carrying this knot out of this thing. Um, just really cool. I do hope they come out with it in more colors and more steels. I'm sure they will, but it is not an Axis lock-based auto. It's just more a regular spring auto, and it does this. It bangs. It's like all, all, almost Protec good. It's it's really good. Um, definitely fires all day long. S thirty V. Um, I just I really like it. Looks a lot like the Mediator. I think the Mediator kind of looks a lot like a nine forty, so it kind of goes that way. But um, yeah. Uh, so that is my little tease for this is uh yeah i got a 9400 in i'm gonna be playing with it the day they are available on uh the 25th you will see a video review here you will see a written review on knivesillustrated.com and if you're on the knives illustrated mailing list you'll you'll probably get that blasted out to you on that same day um is it kicking off to take flight yeah if you don't have a hold of it it's gonna fire here we'll put the artist in a way and put the 940 next to it so you can see they are identical in every shape and everything just one's an auto and one's a manual access lock see you later ocd i'll pop on in here in a few minutes after i get the stuff posted on the uh, patreon uh mini freak is a little bigger than the mini grip yes it is i the mini grip does not fit my hands well at all the mini freak fits very well uh when i do the full review of this you will see that i talk extensively about it so um yeah, it's just a little bit bigger. Um, but it's just enough bigger that I actually do really enjoy this. It's just, it's a really cool knife. I, the price, debatable. But, I mean, they sold them all out. They're not available many places, so uh, apparently the market's willing to pay it. But um, I know some people don't like they don't put the numbers on it anymore now, but they just says first production, but I don't mind it. Pivot looks a bit different. Oh, on the 940, yeah, because it's a, uh, it's an, the 9400, it's because it's an auto, so it's got a spring in there and everything. I mean, it's a lot less similar, a lot less than a similar 940. I don't know what you mean there. Um, Jeremy Russell says, uh, any chance you'll let me sharpen the 9400, LOL? No, because you do too good a job, and I'm going to be using it for comparisons and stuff. i got to keep it as stockish as I can. Isn't the Mini Freak 160? Not 260. This is the Carbon S90V one. It's 260. Um, the 940-1 has the same materials, and isn't it like 270? Um, no, it's more than that now. I think it's 287, isn't it? I think it's like 287 now. They were 270. I think that's about what... I think they were like 250 when I got this one. Uh, thank you, Penny. Appreciate you guys hanging out. I had to tease you to make somebody stick around, but uh, that's good. Um, womp womp. Yeah, now it's 270. Or two, two, sorry, 263, yeah. See you later, Bony Blades. Thanks for coming out. I'm going to punch off here right on time now. And you guys, if we're going to hang out and chat, you can continue doing that with me. I'll probably come over in a little bit to uh, OCD for EDC's live stream. Uh, go check him out. I always like to promote his show after mine because I know you guys still like to, talk, to uh, chat. And if you are a Patreon member, keep an eye on your email in about three minutes time, uh, maybe less than that. There's going to be a post up for uh, what when's your live thing, Zach stuff. Um, 
uh, yeah, but there will be a pretty significant knife sale. So uh, go make sure to check that out. Thank you guys again so much for coming and hanging out. I've been Brian. Have a good one.